News coming in, the Defense Research and Development Organization's Development Laboratory, the DRDL in Hyderabad, has successfully conducted the ground testing of an active cool scramjet subscale combustor for over 1,000 seconds. And this is about 16 minutes plus. That's a major development that is taking place. This test was held at the newly built Scramjet Connect test facility. And this marks a significant leap in hypersonic weapon technology following an earlier 120 second test in January. So that was 120 seconds test earlier. It's 1000 seconds now. That's a major leap for now. The achievement validates the design and the endurance of the scramjet combustor. Now that's the core component of the hypersonic cruise missile. And why is this so significant? Because we all know of supersonic fighters uh, that fly faster than the, uh, the, sound, the speed of sound. When you talk about hypersonic, that's actually five times, more than five times the speed of sound. That's almost like more than 6,100 kilometers per hour. And that's significant in new generation, new age warfare. So there is no interceptor that can stop a hypersonic missile that's coming your way because it will come in so rapidly, so swiftly. Now these missiles, they actually rely on air breathing engines with supersonic consumption for long duration flights. And the, and the distances that they travel and in quick time. So this success, we are told, is a result of those collaborative efforts between the Defence Research and Development Organisation, the industry and universities that are working with the Defence Research and Development Organisation uh, and that's extremely significant. So this lays the foundation for India's own hypersonic cruise missile programme. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh praised achievements of this and he said it's a testament to the government's commitment to advanced defence technologies. DRDO Chairman Dr. Samir Kamath, he's congratulated the DRDL team led by uh, Shri U, U Raja Babu and Dr. G.A. Srinivas Murthy for demonstrating this technological feat. And I quickly want to cut across to India today's Manjeet Singh Negi joining us for more on this. Manjeet. When you talk about Atmanirbhar Bharat, the big effort, uh, you know, when the country talks about Atmanirbhar Bharat, the big effort is to make cutting-edge technology that's not available uh, either off the shelf or other countries are unwilling to give it to you. And this is where this test of a missile that one day will fly um, more at Mach 5, more than 6,100 kilometers per hour, becomes extremely significant, Manjeet. Well, Gaurav, but day before yesterday, Pakistan has announced that uh, they will uh, conduct a uh, surface to surface air missile test in Arabian Sea. But before that, uh, India has uh, uh, first time carried out a successful ground test of scramjet engine and an air breathing engine capable to sustaining compression during the supersonic uh, flight. And this crucial uh, milestone in developing next generation hypersonic missile that can travel speed of more than uh, Mark 5. Uh, five times uh, the speed of, of the sound and uh, the, these uh, advanced weapon hypersonic missiles have the potential to bypass uh, the existing air, de air de defense system in Pakistan and, uh, and, uh, and the China to deliver rapid and high impact strike. And uh, in, in today's uh, uh, circumstances, the only the United States, Russia and China have developed technology to field fast maneuvering hypersonic uh, missile that uh, fly at uh, lower altitude and are extremely hard to track uh, and intercept. So this is a big uh, development uh, in, in, in terms of uh, recent development with uh, Pakistan and great uh, achievement for DRDO and uh, Indian Armed Forces. Truly a game changer and Manjeet, keep tracking that story. I will come back to you for more.